another video. What's good? First things first. Good morning. How y'all feeling this bright morning? For me, it's the day after. No, day after. I'm not gonna laugh. It's the day. No, actually, not the day after the playoffs game one. <laughs> For me, so I'm just gonna quick jump into it. So I'm just gonna make this, you know, a quick little short video. I'm not gonna splurge too much, but today we're just gonna. I'm just gonna quick talk about the game ones and stuff like that, and what I think the playoff, what our matchups are gonna be. For me, so for without further ado, let's get straight into it. So first, first series, Sixers and Nets. And also, to admit my wrongs, I have no problem. Like, where I think I was wrong at and stuff like that. So, everything, well, y'all already know, everything really, honestly, is especially in the playoffs. It's about adjustments, adjustments, and especially, like, your how your coaches, your coach should really be paying attention and just like that. But really, it's really about adjustments uh, and game plan execution. It's really about that. It's really how the playoffs is. If you make a certain amount of adjustments, the good adjustments most of the time, even, but even though the better team wins most of the series, best out of four, I mean, best out of seven, best, I mean, best out of four, uh, sorry, I apologize. I literally just woke up for me. You know how to bring out this good video, and especially I do want to up, I do want to upload this before game two, before all the game two start. And also too, I'm, um, I'm not going to do this after every, like all the games and stuff. I just want to do this for the game once, but also too, I do want to start, um, in the future when like say when round one is done i'm gonna do a whole like you know thing on um all the round like the round one as a whole and then from there i'll do round two you know etc but um so for the first series that sixers and nets honestly i said sixers and seven the way it's looking even though at first it was a competitive game if you watched it for a while it was a competitive game to a certain extent and then Harden turn like Houston Harden, Mohawk Harden, and start looking like me. And, Stop the cap. And he was starting. He he had how many threes did he have in the half in the first half? I believe he had six. He had six. So and he ended the game with seven seven threes. So he played out of his mind. It's just off. It's just sometimes with their defense like, like i said before like yeah they were one of the highest rated defensive teams in the nba but also again a lot of times their urgency sometimes they look like they don't want to be out there they stand in the third like their, their switches be lackadaisical sometimes when they're coming off the screen pick and rolls sometimes they get mixed up on the screens and uh, on switching and stuff so a lot of times it's either uh, they either have an open shooter or it can just be a, a layup line so that's that but I feel like that game, if they keep up the intensity, because they've also played tonight, they really, the thing is, especially when you know you're the inferior team, you do not want to give no team confidence. You want to get them out of your way, get them out of your hair, and get them out, like, right away. Because you don't want, especially a young team, you do not want to build their confidence. Because once you start building their confidence, that's when you just have to get start getting worried, and when you start getting shaking your boots, shivering me timbers kind of stuff. You, you get me, bro. So I feel like that game, that that series, honestly, might just go to. Um, might, they might push it to six. They might push it to six. I say Sixers and six. The way it's looking, we'll see tonight. Next game, Knicks and Cavs. And also, too, I will I will post the um the scores somewhere on the screen for me. And I'm not gonna post the box score. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just not gonna do that right now. I'm tired. For me, I gotta hear Rick real quick. I don't have time for that right now, but I will post the scores to the games somewhere around here. So then you can pause, look at them, and go to the box score if you want to do what you got to do. You get me? But second, Knicks and Cavs. I said this was going to be probably the first, I mean, the best first round series. I don't know. I had, honestly had the Cavs winning that game, but all of a sudden, near the end of the game, they just forgot how to get boards all of a sudden. So it was just making no sense. And then, Jalen Brunson, the, the Mavs definitely are missing Jalen Brunson right now with everything, bro. Them, they are punching the air right now. Like, what well, um the guy did from um fuck, what is that? Boys in the hood after um Ricky died. I'm come on, you motherfuckers, come on, come on, man. That bro, that's the that's the Mavs right now. I'm gonna lie, cause Jalen Brunson, man, 
Jalen Brunson is definitely one of the most underrated players in the NBA because he got that think think combo. Like from here, kind of reminds me of myself if I was lefty. C A P. You know, I'm not lefty, but anyway, yeah, that 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 series, I feel like that series can really be a toss up because Donovan Mitchell he did have 38. But they still lost. And some y'all know sometimes too how Donovan Mitchell he can be streaky. Like one day he can give you 45, and the next day he'll give you seven. And so but that, that I feel like honestly that can be a, a toss-up series. On realistically, that really can be a toss-up series. I still say Cavs and Seven because I just feel like they have the better to a certain extent they have the better supporting cast. But this sometimes it's just like, do that supporting cast show up? Yeah, the um, the uh, the Knicks they do have like, quickly. Who else they have? I don't. This, I doubt. I didn't really watch all of the game. I'm pretty sure Evan Fournier didn't play. But if he did, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But because last time I checked, he was out of the rotation and stuff like that. So, but he he's he's a good shooter. He's a good like spot up shooter. Sometimes he can. Like, yeah, if y'all ever watch the next game, he'll light you up. Like, honestly, next game, so next series, and I'll make this one quick Hawks and Celtics. Really, I will say again, do not sleep on the Hawks. I didn't say, it, I mean, not again, but I will say, do not sleep on the Hawks, even though, like, I'm gonna I'm be realistic, the Celtics are probably getting them out of there in five max. Um, but. If I uh, near the end of the game where it did look like it was really like the icing on the cake, the Hawks they do make late pushes, so there aren't there are no pushovers. Especially Bogey coming off the bench, he's like a lot of people. I would say honestly, he brings that little that grit to them because he's the one like he be getting them fired up, and, and he comes and him coming off the bench now this season is good for what the bench unit would need. So I but still it's still Celtics and five, and um. What other series? Oh, that uh, Suns, the, not the Suns, uh, the Sac, the Sacramento Kings, and the Golden State Warriors. It's either that that series, or the this Warriors and the um Kings are the best, or the 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 Suns and the Clippers, or my because though that game was crazy, but I'm getting tougher in a minute. But that uh, that Sun, that uh, that Kings and the Warriors. Is going to be a very, a very, very good series. Just the way, like that, like just the way the energy was coming off the rip, and that that arena is was going crazy. That arena was going crazy. If you watched the game, it felt like you was in the arena. That's how like loud it was. It was wild. It was wild. And the thing, the one thing though, like that do plays in the Warriors' favor is they have tremendous m more experience than. The Kings definitely that anybody on the Kings does so that does definitely plays a, a, f a factor into their benefit because like they, regardless even even if the uh, the Kings go up 2-0 after tonight they're just they're just doing what their um the home team is supposed to do a series really doesn't start until a player the team loses on their home floor so I would say that that honestly can still really be a toss up so. I'm gonna say, realistically, I would say I was gonna say Kings and six, but now nah, I'm saying Kings and seven. I say Kings and seven. So next one, Suns, Suns and Clippers. That is going to be a great, a great, great series. I think this this is gonna be the best. I think this is gonna be the best series. Honestly, Ka Kawhi was playing out his mind last night. He had 38. Then Russell Westbrook. He didn't have a good shooting, a good shooting performance, only 3 and 19 from the field, but he brought the hustle. I know you seen that block, that late block on Devin Booker and the save. He threw it off of Devin D Book. See, it can be a toss up. Was it a foul? Did he smack his hand? Just hand third? I like I, it's playoff basketball. Do not call that a foul. Do not call that a foul. And Devin Booker, like he was complaining at the end before the worst worst book threw it off his foot. But you gotta keep you gotta play through it, bro. They don't call it, bro. They play you gotta keep playing through it, bro. This is the NBA playoffs. Nothing needs more to be said. You got to play like it's, even though Devin Booker, he was, especially, he was playing good on the defensive end. Especially in the fourth quarter, he was diving on loose balls, defending, he was blocking shots, char taking charges. He was, he did have his defensive takeover. So, 
I would that I still I say Suns and seven for that one. And then I'm gonna quick go through these. I'm gonna quick go through the red the other games. So the Lakers, the Lakers and Grizzlies. That was good. I originally I, I y'all heard me. I had the Suns. I had the Suns in the um Grizzlies going to the 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 um conference finals, but. Now, depending on Josh' status with his hand, because his X-rays came back negative, it's question. It the now is really like should they, the Lakers on the team? I get them out of here in six or five. To risk Jaron Jack JJJ, he was fine yesterday. He really he was really was fine. But there's only so much, especially the big man. There's only so much you can do as a whole, you know. So I mean, and in AD, he did come back. Yeah, this I, if you did watch the game, you did see him leave. Was it before halftime when he said, "Oh, he can't, he can't feel his arm," so that was at first it was looking scary. You know, you know how everybody and how AD is. So I mean, but it's good to see him back. So yeah, who who else up late? The, uh, the I'm not gonna lie, Timberwolves and Nuggets. They should just end that series, Nuggets and one because. I, I turned that game off at the halftime because they was getting smoked and they was getting mollywhopped. They didn't look like for me. They, again, they're inexperienced. They're extremely young. Their main guys are young, so of course you know. So I would say Nuggets and one, Max two. I feel like I'm forgetting one more team. Uh, also two, I will say I just I just got a ring light too. So I will. I don't know if y'all if you wanna um if you. Like the video or comment if you would like to see an unboxing video or you just it don't really matter. But yeah, um, I feel, that's about it. I want to quick wrap. I want quick wrap this up because you know I got to get got to get ready to work. You know, unfortunately. But um, appreciate y'all for tuning in. And I also too, I will. I do have a pair of shoes coming this week, and I will be doing an unboxing video for that too. So y'all again stay in tune for that so i appreciate y'all for tuning in and like i said I, I won't be doing this after every game i'm just only doing this right now just you know to let y'all know what i'm i have plans for the future about doing this because like i said i will be doing this after every round so the update about every round so um i feel like that's oh, no bucks i apologize so i'm gonna quick add this somewhere in the video so if it's out of place i apologize but heating a buck sorry like, again i just woke up like less than 20 minutes ago so for me i barely even know my name right now gotta let my data down on. but heat and bucks tyler hero depending on really it really depends on his status too because he broke his hand so honestly but first he's out for this series if they even pass even though they won like they won yesterday i would say and jimmy um jimmy g buckets he 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 a, he a different kind of play yeah i know how playoff jimmy is for me but um yeah, they won last night, and also too depends on Giannis too, because he did leave the game. What, what was it? A lower back contusion, I believe. He did leave the game. I think it was first quarter. So let me. But um, that actually. So it really, a lot of injuries, unfortunately, already happening in um in the uh, first game of the playoffs. So hopefully that a lot of these aren't like significant and they don't have to miss. Uh, um. I know a lot of times, so yeah, but yeah, that that I forgot to put that, but yeah, definitely, I would say originally, like I had the Bucks in six. Now, like I said, it depends on um Giannis's Giannis when Giannis's timetable to come back, and also to uh what's some, when Tyler Hero when Tyler Hero or who's gonna replace Tyler Hero and like his points wise, who's gonna be that other. I, I get you again. You can play. You can um start Victor on the depot. He hasn't really been in a lineup like that. He's very. He's not. He's inconsistent. He's not like his pacer days, stuff like that. Especially after all the injuries he had to overcome. But it's either him or like you can put Duncan Robinson in. But you know he in his playoffs. You need defense. You need defensive stops at times too. So it's like and he's not really a good defender. Yeah, he can get you buckets. He's a great shooter, but. You, you need to stop. You need to do yeah, I, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. Feel me? Tell a friend to tell a friend. And to tell a friend. Feel me? I appreciate y'all and I'm going to fuck with y'all.